Okay, so this is week 20 and we are still doing um, area. Uh, this uh, page is titled Determining Area with Square Units. And so in the previous weeks, we've had a lot of assistance, a lot of help with uh, learning, knowing how to uh, count our sides of, of the rectangles uh, that were given. Well, this week, because we are such smarties, we don't need any help. We're going to find out what our sides are on our own. We're going to multiply and we're going to document our answers right over here on the answer line. So let's go. So the first thing we're going to do here uh, for number one is we're going to count the uh, boxes along the top here. And then we're going to, or let's do the bottom here. And then we're going to put that number here. Then we're going to count the number of boxes here and we're going to put that number here. So let's do it. One, two, three, four. So we're going to write a four here. And then let's count this side. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll put a five here. So five times four equals 20. Or five multiplied by four equals 20. Or four times five equals 20. Either way. So you're going to put that answer on the line. Let's do this bigger one right here. One. Well, let's start down here. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'd write a nine here. And make sure you write your nine there, your number on this side of your, uh, your object. And you're going to write it on this side of your object, okay? Um, so we got a 9 down here. Mine's is imaginary. You go ahead and write yours down. And then you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 times 9, we're going to put that answer on our answer line. And that is how we solve this particular worksheet on determining area with square units. Please don't forget to write your answer over here on the answer line, but also put your U2 at the end. Let's take a look at the answer key for this particular sheet so that you'll know exactly what I mean by that. So your answer would be 20U2 or 20 units squared for number one. Your answer for number three would look just like this when you um, work it out and after you've determined what your sides are it would be that number that you get from multiplying plus the u2 which stands for square units or units squared hope you guys enjoyed this video have a great week